We are at Tower Hill State Park, just outside Spring Green. This is the camping area at Tower Hill State Park. Not a lot of campsites, nice open field, picnic tables, and there is a boat ramp here also, so you can get to it by boat. Right now the Wisconsin River is very high and very powerful. And here we have a beautiful, huge white pine. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Now Tower Hill State Park, like all the state parks, has something very special to offer. And here is the Shot Tower. So you may know that Wisconsin got its nickname from the lead miners, the Badger State, because the lead miners would dig into the ground and get lead. Like down in Mineral Point, Shake Rag Alley. And then the lead would be transported up here to Shot Tower, where they would bring it into the tower and then they would melt it down, let it flow through a sieve, down, down, down a long ways, and into a vat of water where it would harden. And that's where they would form the shot, different sizes. So those of you in fourth grade studying Wisconsin, this is a great place to come to learn about why it's called the Badger State, about the lead mining, and about turning it into shot. And this was the years 1833 to 1861. Oh, we have something very unusual here. It's way above 40 degrees, so there are lots of bugs out. But lots of bugs right here on this tree where the sap is running. Oh my goodness. I have never seen this before. Look at all those flies. And there's other bugs here too. The bugs are really out today. Look at that. And there's our first butterfly too. There he is. He's gone, he's flying around. Look at all these bugs, flies, wasps, all kinds of things here. Oh my goodness. We are heading to the smelter house. As I'm going up to the smelter house, I pass this cedar tree with these holes oval holes. Who remembers what kind of woodpecker makes those? Eh, eh, woody woodpecker. A pileated woodpecker. Here are the steps going up to the shot tower. And we have already come a long way up. Way down there is where we started. This tower is up high.
amazing story. Tunnels were dug out by hand. Lead was brought up from other places down south. Mineral Point, Shake Rag Alley, and others. And it made into shot here. Right now it's locked up. The view from up on top by the sh tower here is amazing. You can see for miles. But down below you can see that it's still flooded. So we're not even going to try and go down on the path to the bottom of the shot tower where the lead would land and they would take the lead shot out of there and then ship it away to where it was going to be used for bullets. This is one of the campsites here. This is a beauty. It's big, it's open, and it's overlooking the, the creek and the river. Right now the creek and the river are all one. Look at this. Oh, this is an awesome campsite. Up high, there's the boat landing right down there. And normally this is a creek running out here, but right now it's totally flooded. The Wisconsin River and the creek are all one here now. And the bugs are not bad. This might be a great time to come camping. Just your family though. Here's a little bit more history for those of you interested in the history of Wisconsin. We're going to take a look at this barn. Oh, look at this construction but never finished, apparently. Wow, what a beauty, huh? So there's our tour of Tower Hill State Park for today. While walking down the path at Harchie Center, I came across this clue. Feathers. And they are quite small. Let's see. There's my finger. They're small feathers. But there's a whole clump of them. They're brown on the tips white on the inside. So what kind of a bird and what happened to it? And is this a crime scene? A uh, living critter. The woolly bear caterpillar. They turn into moths. And their legend is, the bigger the middle brown, at least I think this is, the milder the winter, the more black, the colder the winter. Uh, so this is like predicting in the past, was he right? Here we have a grouping of G. aster mushrooms, puffballs. I'm going to call it a fungal. I don't think that's a, a real word for this grouping, but 
I'm just going to make that up. Anyway, these puffballs are a little different than others. I'm going to pick one up here. And it's got little star-like ends on it all around. And when it's moist outside, like after a rain, they kind of spread out like a big star. And then when it gets dry, they curl up like this. Just an interesting kind of mushroom. So when you're out for a walk and you see these puff balls, and they do puff too, Let's see if we can get it to puff. Oh yeah, it's puffing. You can tell your mom and dad, hey, look, there's some g -esters. Oh my gosh, and they will be so impressed. Now you know about mosses. Most of them are little and close to the ground, and they stay green, and they're a plant. This thing right here, is a different kind of moss and it's in the club moss family but it's primitive more primitive than a lot of the other mosses and it's not found very many places mostly way up north and there's several different kinds this one just happens to be the kind that branches out like a palm tree and the name of it is oh you're gonna love this name lycopodium lycopodium and like I say it doesn't grow in many places this is the well there used to be two spots where it grew in Harchi here but I have not been able to find it at the other spot in the last couple of years so this is the only spot that I know of in all of Harchu where it grows. And the only other place I see it is up north of Mauston, near Castle Rock Lake. In the woods up there, in the deep woods. What's the name of it again? Repeat it. After me, Lycopodium.